managed to trap the golems a lot better on this third attempt. Happy about that, and I'll just have to keep improving on that so we can have some smoother kills here, safer time. It's gonna be really important with how much time we will be here. Good luck, second kill. Another chasm dead. Nothing. Chasm dead for... Nothing. Chasm dead for... Nothing. Test kill with the Twisted Dragon Hunter crossbow. A bit slower than the Twisted Bow. I thought it would be, but I just wanted to check. Just in case. GL. Hey, first drop from Chasm. Grand Crest piece 2. Not the shards we want to see, but it is something. It's cool that we'll get some Grand Crest pieces here on this grind. Good luck. Hey, fuck yes. First shards and it is a doubled 25 drop. That's fucking huge. Hell yeah. 50 out of 400 needed. We need... 400 shards. I'll pull it up real quick too so you guys can see. We need 400 shards to make the bow and the gauntlets. Plus we need four of the alloys. And then we need Xenite shards, Amethyst, and Runite ore I think it is to... Yeah. It says right here. Yeah. To fuse it all together. So 350 more shards plus the four alloys. That's awesome. Another kill. Nothing. Another chasm bites the dust. Three shards. Ooh, new personal best. 151. Another one dead. Nothing. Fuck yeah, our first alloy obtained. Three more to go and about 120 more shards. Then we are done here. That is fucking sick. We just hit 92 range with that last kill. That's pretty sweet. Good luck, 15 Brim Keys. nothing hey alloy number two that is fucking awesome only need two more now for the chasm quaker bow plus another 300 shards after we finish off the shards for the gauntlets fuck yes there is the last terra metal shards for our first chasm item that is so cool now we will need two more alloys and about 300 more shards and we can make the bow first we can take out these shards can make our best in slot melee gloves it's really cool we need a xenite shard what do we need xenite thousand runite thousand amethyst so we'll pull all that out Ooh, where's the amethyst there it is we use this on the alloy i think you find the ammo piss do we use this on the alloy how do we uh how do we combine this Combined, we have to, uh, huh. Ooh, there it goes. Now we have a core. What are you getting and stuff? Also need to pull out molten gauntlets. We use the terra metal shards on the core. Or the core on the shards. Yeah, there it is. Chasm Quaker core. Use the core on the gloves. And now we have our Chasm Quaker gauntlets. Best in slot melee gloves. Really nasty effect on it. It's really nice for combat. And this is the effect on the gloves right here. Now it's time we get farming for our Chasm Quaker bow. <laughs> he gets, she gets, she gets. 
Hey, another 25 shards. Hell yeah. Hey, double grand crest piece too. That is all right. Hey, huge casket. 94 range. Uncut onyx rip. That is the same drop rate as the alloy and the 25 shards. Hey, another alloy. That is amazing. Only need one more and about 240 more shards or so. Not too bad at all. Hell yes, there's our last alloy needed. Now we need about 220 more shards and that will be our Chasm Quaker bow. <laughs> okay, another alloy. I guess we'll uh, have some dupes to sell. 95 range. Hey, Grand Crest Piece 1. Oh, that's not a log item. I thought it was for a second. For the log, we just need Crest Piece 3 and the two pets. Hey, first Chasm Quaker pet. We'll take it. I don't think I'll ever really use them, but it is cool to have another log item. I might use the orange one since it's range damage. I'm not sure if I'll uh, ever use it somewhere. If there's somewhere really safe that I could use that little bit of extra range damage, I guess maybe, but I'm not totally sure at all. Another huge casket, 96 hit points and 121 combat now. That's pretty sweet. Another Aloy. This has been a really interesting kill. <laughs> the Draconic Warhammer hasn't hit a spec all kill, so the defense is up to 1400. But the Tebow has been hitting pretty decent, so that's the only reason I stayed, really. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, Grand Crest Piece 3. Hey, I just remembered, that is the one log piece we needed. That's sweet. Orange pet for the log. And we are now 165 shards off of the Chasm Quaker bow. Super excited to have that done. Another Grand Crest Piece 3. Okay. Kill number 300. Good luck. About to go to sleep too. Really dead tired right now, but we made solid progress today. A lot closer to the Chasm bow. Just hit 96 range as well. Good night, everybody. New Wanderer tasks for the week. Can we get lucky? Please. Hey, Kodai Necklace, that's awesome. That's another thousand tokens. We can very easily turn that in. Hard task. Sacred tokens, we can do that. Medium is imbued heart. We can do that. Wow, we might have our first ever doable whole week. Grimy Lantodimes. Let's grab all this out. Oh, we can't do the Lantodimes at the moment. Only have 26, but we could grow some more if we can do all of the other steps. So I'll definitely do that for the bonus tokens if we can do all of the others. There's 1k tokens for the Kodai Necklace. That is fucking awesome. Hard task. We get like 100 something. Ooh, Harmonized Orb. We can do it. Let's get that Harm Orb out. It's about time we can trade in one of those. Where is it at? There it is, right in the Harmonized Orb, and a Ring of Balance. I don't know if I want to trade that in, I might hold on to it. Either way, we're getting a lot of tokens this week, that's really nice. 15 Dark Bows, might have it. We have exactly 15 Dark Bows. I guess I might as well trade that in, I can't see any other reason I need them. There is that, and 25 Elixir of Dragon. There's some pretty chill steps this week. Not bad at all. Brings us halfway up to another recharge accessory. I think I'm going to get that next. A second recharge. And then maybe maybe our first unyielding accessories after that. I'm not totally sure yet. Might stop the week there. 1600 tokens this week is huge though. So happy about that. 